the union guys say that 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 contractors and um, will lead to safety issues at the port. They're talking up a whole lot of stuff about Tarim and that. T tell me about some of the safety things that the union fellas were, were doing to you guys. Um, well, one was caught out for throwing, uh, what were those things under the strata? Uh, twist locks. Twist locks. So twist locks off a container that, that, are, that are designed to hold containers together. It's very solid and if, uh, if it was run over by a strata, Clearly, it would be uh, the tire would explode and uh, somewhat be would be. Uh, would it put the driver at risk? Um, I think it's actually more the surrounding right. people. Um, a straddle in the past. I don't know whether it was here or not. It might have been here, but evidently had run over a twist lock. Yeah. Um, and and had spat the twist lock many many yards and planted into the side of a. Uh, Container I heard. So if there was a person, so there's a lot of yeah, that's, that's um, a hell of a risk. It's a very uh, so that, that's, serious incident. So that's blatant, a blatant health and safety um, issue there. Um, so the, when the union's talking about safety, they need to clean up their own act. So, so why are you guys not members of the union? Um, it, you know, it became the fact that they were so anti the company, and their role is really to to paint it. A dangerous and horrible picture about the company and how how they hate you and they will do this to you and that to you. That um, I, I, I over time learned that the company weren't a bad company. I developed a bit of a relationship with my bosses and, and uh, found them to be true and, and uh, direct and, and it led on to the fact that um, uh, the more and more I stayed with the union, the more that I, I began to disagree. And that's life, it's democracy. But the minute I put my hand up and, and started to voice some of those issues, um, they uh, they caught on and they basically... Uh, uh, and I was still actually a member of the union, but they were then told not to, to communicate with me and, and that I was scum and that I was... So you got blacklisted? Pretty well blacklisted. Yeah, I don't believe the union was um, the way how they treat, um, they've been treating the airlines. Yeah. This, yeah, no, this is what they do it and, and just do the job part of the time, you know, the shadows and that. And they've been telling you that. Don't go too far, you know, why are you going up so early? So I'm telling so, you to slow down. To slow down. Yeah. And uh, how's the feeling on the port since the, since the union guys walked out and went on strike? Yeah. Fabulous. Very uh, uplifting, energised and... Uh, jovial somewhat but we're getting the business done. So the union says that not a single ship is going to be processed at the port. Yeah. How many ships have you guys processed since they went on strike? Well, just done one a day for a few while. Um, a, few, a few of them are led on to two day jobs but yeah, yeah. we've been poking them out to, uh, to, at some pretty brisk uh, turnarounds. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so you're a, a crane driver. Um, when the union was was in charge of the workforce, pretty much, did they stipulate that you had to work at a certain rate for crane moves? No, what it was, it was the, the straddles feed the cranes, right? Yep. So then the crane feeds the ship, and vice versa. When you unload off the ship, then the straddles discharge away, right? Yep. So you're somewhat. Um, you're stuck with that movement, so you know you can be a fast crane driver. But if you're not cleared, then you're just hanging, waiting for a gap to put your box down into the yep. into the loading area. Um, these these things here, there was guys that would go out in the straddles in the morning and they'd take their newspaper in the back pocket, go up there, log in. What you do, you got to log in your, your into the you've got your you're own computer computer right? yep. and it gives you a task, it gives you a job to go and do, right? Um, You'd see guys parked up here and there, not all the time, but you know, just couldn't be bothered somewhat and uh, push unavailable and they'd be. Right. You know, this sort of thing went on time and time again. You know? and, and, and in uh, the last five days, with the ships coming in, how's it been with the straddles moving the containers? Just performed. Very good. Very good. Uh, no, no doubt. But uh, everyone's motivated. We're getting looked after. We're happy. We can see a future. And, uh, and, uh, with yesterday's announcement, it's um, 
it's uh, it's a step in the right direction. We're hoping to get some uh, a bit more information over time. Yeah, really. Uh, we just want to get stuck in and, and make turn this thing around and pretty well prove that uh, everything they said about us and the company is um, is, uh, is is rubbish. There's been a lot of focus that the that the union workers are the ones who have been made redundant. That's not true, is it? Definitely. You've been made redundant I've been as well. Made redundant. Uh, there's a lot of uh, management, middle management, that have been made redundant. There's uh, ladies, allocators uh, of, of different types, levels. Uh, they're all also in the same bag. So, you know, we're all putting our hand up to come back. Right. So, and, uh, so it's highly likely then. that, um, based on performance, that we've uh, got a fairly good chance. I'm, I, uh, I'm not sweating about it. Right. So you're, 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 relaxed. You're, you're relaxed to keep about it. But the fact is, is that everyone's been made redundant. They're that's all in the same that's boat. The and it's those guys out in the corner. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. That's perfect. Well, you said when you arrived, you didn't know any of us? No. Oh, I but found everybody everyone's... very approachable. Totally. Um, everyone's happy. They're playing pool and yeah. table tennis. Yeah. We're going hard. The cranes are busy doing their business. We're in break, obviously. I'm about to go back out. But that's the, the essence of, uh, of ship work. Yeah. And, um, and what's the plan? This uh, this ship's just probably just about finished, is it? No, no, we're, uh, this one's a biggie, so we'll be pushing it through by mid to late tomorrow. Oh, okay. It should be so, it's, so it's going to be here a while. And then I think there's another one um, sitting out there ready to rock in and take its place. So it's, right. It's cool. That's great. Just keep them coming. Better to be busy than doing nothing. Totally.